Stumptown Otaku in downtown Portland is open for business. All of our employees carry a canister of pepper spray just in case. Often they're on edge because people try to steal from the store or damage it. Campers here, we got trash, we got feces all around the street. Uh, it's just driving away customers, driving away tourists, and it put me and my staff at risk. Ten-year Navy veteran Tommy Lee is used to protecting his store. But on Monday afternoon, Lee says a man on a bike harassed his family in a different way. We were crossing the crosswalk when this bike just came barreling down and almost hit my mom. It was at the intersection of 2nd Avenue and Pine, right across from Stumptown Otaku. Lee says he told the man to watch out, and that's when the situation escalated. He, like, turned back around and, like, just started yelling racial slur at us. Um, stuff I don't really want to repeat anymore. <laughs> and it turned physical. Lee says the man flicked a burning cigarette at his mom and then threw a punch at him. That's when Lee tried to get his family to safety. I just told my parents, come on, come on, let's just go, let's just go. Lee says he warned the man that he was armed with mace. This surveillance video shows us what happened next. He just biked back around, get close to my mom and just spit on her face. And at that point, I just lost it. So I just grabbed my mace and I emptied the whole canister in his face. And um, yeah, and then he just biked off. He called Portland police and described the man as white and about 30 years old with a nose piercing. And I think they're treating it as a bias crime right now. All right, Ashley, it looks like they've got some evidence to work with there. What are police saying about this attack? Yeah, I talked with Portland police today and they did assign a detective to this case and they are investigating it as a bias crime. They say if you were there or if you recognize this man to please give them a call. Let's hope they catch the guy. Thank you, Ashley.